How do y'all? Welcome back to DVND Studios. Been a minute since I've recorded a video for you. My apologies for that. As you can see, I've got in front of you a uh, painting of watercolor painting of four little pandas representing some children, which is pretty freaking awesome, I think. But um, this is part of making do with what you have, and I didn't really have a very good frame for it but a friend of mine had given me a plastic frame here as you can see just a you know thin little plastic frame it's not much but it'll work and I need to cut down the painting for the size of the glass that it's going under and I got part way on the cutting I've, I've cut part of it as you can see I'm not too terribly worried about being a hundred percent precise with it but you know I will be as precise as I can be uh, forgive me for you know the frame it's a little crooked in there and all that good stuff but it'll do the job I guess Anyway, all I'm going to do is finish trimming up around the edges of the glass panel uh, and then pop it back into this plastic frame. It literally just, seriously, just pops right out of the frame and right back into it. It's just a uh, uh, display frame for a certain company's poster type information. I won't mention the company. <laughs> you might recognize the information on there. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to finish cutting it up. I had started to cut it in a previous video, but the footage got screwed up, so I had to delete it. But this should still suit for what I'm doing. Worked just fine. So I apologize if everything is out of frame here and a little crooked, but that's what that's life, you know. No, not right now. We wait till Daddy's done. And Such is done. life. Wait till Daddy's done, and then you turn to Mommy. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just using a regular, you know, razor here out of a box knife. Obviously, it would be safer to use the knife itself, but I don't actually have one. And besides, if you're careful enough with what you're doing, you shouldn't cut yourself. If you do cut yourself, well, shit, accidents happen. No big deal. <laughs> That's life. Now, one more pass here, hopefully. I had recently heard some decent advice, I guess, and I've not really exercised that, but you should never try to cut through anything in one pass. Make multiple passes, and theoretically, you should get a more accurate cut. I don't really see that, but okay, whatever. So I got the edges trimmed down to the size I need. That's the glass that's going to be going right back on top. I know it probably does need to be cleaned and all that good stuff, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. That's not the important part. The important part is getting the frame, or getting the picture cut down to size. Yeah, it's not 100% accurate, and that's all right. But as you can see, it just pops right in here. And yes, of course, I'm a little, you know, my paper buckled and all that good stuff, but that's also not really all that important. Yeah, there's, you can use heavier paper, which works great, obviously. You can pre-stretch your paper. Uh, I don't really do that. That's mostly because I can't afford the heavier paper to pre-stretch it anyway. So there you go. Just pop the glass right back into the frame. Easy peasy. 
Japanesey. I can't remember where I heard that phrase. Sorry about jostling you around there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick, you know, to make do with what you have, that's what you got to do. Sorry for all the artifacts and everything in the background, but anyway, um, if you like this content, this kind of content, unedited, uh, unrefined, unpolished, all that good stuff, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed already, smash that little subscribe button that's down in the corner and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other additional videos. I don't really have any regular schedule or anything like that for which I shoot on. I just, you know, try to get them on there when I can. But anyway, yeah, have a day.